Stampers and welcome to Laura's Stamp Pad. Today I'm going to show you a little tutorial on how to use some of your sponge daubers. We all know that I love, love, love my sponge daubers. And here I created this fabulous ombre looking card with different various shades of green. Here I used Pear Pizzazz, Old Olive, Garden Green, and the new in color Mossy Meadow. But today I'm going to show you this same technique in purple because I love purple. So we're going to start with a piece of cardstock measuring five and a half by two, and this is just regular Whisper White cardstock. And we'll be using Blackberry Bliss, which is again one of the new in colors, Elegant Eggplant, Perfect Plum, and Wisteria Wonder. And I'm just going to use my little sponge daubers to create that background look. Here's what one of the sponge daubers looks like whenever it's brand new. So it comes all white and cute little, goes right onto your finger, little sponge dauber. Love, love, love them. You can also just hold them like this if you'd like. And then here's some of my older ones where I put a little label on it that says that it's Elegant Eggplant and I also, um, after I write it on the label, I put a piece of clear tape around it just so that the white label doesn't pick up all the ink from all of my inky fingers and, and everything else. So that's how I label each of mine. Uh, you can see this one's also labeled, but these two are new. So I thought I would show you those. So again, I have my five and a half by two and I'm just going to start with my lightest color. So you just kind of tap, tap, tap in the ink and you're going to run it along like this. And just kind of fill in until you feel that it is all nice and perfect. And there's no real measurements on how far along you should go. Then when you move to your next color, you're actually going to want to do a little bit of overlapping. Just so that you don't have that distinct line. Just kind of lightly go, there's, you know, you can press really hard. Um, if you press really hard, you're going to get like a dot look like that. So you just kind of want to keep going back and forth, back and forth until you have that correct look. Now I'm going to move to my Elegant Eggplant and again I'm going to kind of go across but then come back and lightly kind of overlap those colors. And we'll end with this one. We can always go back and fill in if we need to. That's actually quite a a bright purple for the end. Might not have been the, the correct ombre look there. Might have needed to add it in some uh, rich razzleberry. But you can see how you have that perfect little background there with all of the different colors. And for this one, I went ahead and created this for my nephew. His name, of course, is Luke. And I used the Epic Alphabet, which is one of the new alphabet stamp sets that's in the new catalog. And then I stamped Wish Big randomly throughout and of course that's from a dozen thoughts and then I stamped the happy birthday which is from teeny tiny wishes so you can kind of create any look that you want after you've created that fabulous background look Another way that I have used uh, my sponge daubers to create a background look was with the Northern Lights technique that I did a couple weeks ago. You can check out that video. I'll put a link down below. Uh, with the Northern Lights technique, we added the ink by adding all of those little stripes with our little sponge daubers. And of course, when you overlapped the colors, that's when you started to get the green here and the orange here. You can see a couple different ones. And then I added the dark on the bottom. Another way that you can use your sponge daubers, I did with this card here, and I use baked brown sugar on the edges of this to give that rustic, uh, sort of worn look on this card. So there's so many different ways that you can use your sponge daubers to add a little color here and there or to fill in and create a complete background. I super love my sponge daubers and I hope that you like them as well. Be sure to check out my blog at laurastamppad.com for more ideas and tutorials and pictures on using sponge daubers. And of course, if you have any ideas that you would like to see me do a video on, leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video because that would be super fabulous. Until next time, happy stamping!